So if you've been asking yourself, what can I do with my biology degree? Then today I'm going to be sharing what I did with my biology degree. And hopefully that inspires you on your journey. So when I started my biology degree, um, this was back in 2003, I really thought I wanted to go to med school. So I started out on the pre-med track and I had a lot of support. I had a lot of mentorship, but one of the things that I didn't have was somebody asking me or telling me, hey, if you don't go to med school, what else would you like to do? What else is out there on your radar? And in my case, I couldn't go to medical school because at the time I was an international student and many schools were not open. Many med schools were not open to international students. And even if they accepted international students, you know, you had to be exceptional or the exceptional. And number two, it was pretty expensive for international students to attend medical school. You needed some to take out student loans for you or co-sign student loans for you because I couldn't take out anything like FAFSA or anything like that. So going to medical school in the United States as an international student became something that was difficult. And I didn't want to dig such a big financial hole, you know, and most of the time it's like half a million dollars or more for myself. And so I began to think of alternatives and I did my research and found that I could go into PhD programs. And thankfully there were several students from my school that had ended up in PhD programs who would sometimes come back and give talks as part of the biology honor society. They would give talks to us. They would tell us about the work they were doing. And they would also tell us about the fact that they were actually getting stipends as PhD students. And that was really attractive to me that not only would I get a stipend whilst I was in a PhD program, but I would not have to shell out thousands and thousands of dollars um, in, in tuition and school fees in order to obtain a degree that I wanted. So initially, I decided to go the PhD route but then a friend had told me about nursing about accelerated nursing and so I finished my biology degree applied to an accelerated nursing degree and this degree was about 18 months right and so it was specifically designed for people with an, a, you know a degree already who wanted to get a second degree in nursing so I did that I enjoyed every minute of it and every bit of the work that I did as a biology student because as a pre-med I did courses like statistics and all the calculuses physics chemistry organic chemistry as well as my biology courses and so as was such a great fit for this nursing program I went in and enjoyed it thoroughly I'm so glad that that was a part of my journey again though when I finished being an international student was again a, a stumbling block or you know some kind of obstacle in my way so i left and then went into a phd program and now as i'm speaking to you i have a phd i also got my degrees in biology and nursing and i'm very very happy with the mix of educational experiences that i've had and where i've ended up currently i work in medical communications and all of the education I've had has been valuable to where I am right now. So I've shared my story and now I want you to pay special attention to what I'm about to say next, right? Because especially for those of you that are in biology degrees right now that would like to enter the workforce right after school, maybe you don't have any plans of going to graduate school, you don't want to get a master's degree or a PhD, but you want to start working I want you to focus really seriously on what I'm about to say. The first thing is focus on lab skills if working in the lab is something that you enjoy. The reason I'm saying to focus on developing your lab skills, right, is because when you enter the workforce, nobody, and trust me, nobody is going to be impressed with your high GPA, with the fact that you got all A's, or with the fact that you have a fancy biology degree. What they're really concerned about is can you help us achieve ABC goal? And so maybe you're joining a lab or there's a lab that's advertising a role for you know, a junior scientist and they want you to be able to come in and do flow cytometry or they want you to be able to come in and your job is going to be doing PCRs all day or they want you to come in and your job is going to be some lab activity. Yes, there is time to train you on some of these things, but they want usually prefer like people that could hit the ground running. So as you find yourself within a biology department at your college, 
I want to encourage you to find opportunities to practice these lab skills, right? Practice pipetting, practice doing PCS, practice doing things like ELISA's or any other technique that is available to you. I would also say that if you live in a large metropolitan area, right, look for opportunities to do internships or to shadow scientists, things like that, right? To be in and around lab environments where you see these skills on a daily basis. It will help you get used to it and it's going to help you to say, yes, I know how to do ABC once you get into those interviews. But let's say you don't want to go into the lab, right? And you want to get into something like medical communications, like I am. Yes, you can get into medical communications without a PhD, but again, you're going to have to be able to demonstrate to the hiring manager that when they hire you, right, that they don't, they're not going to have to spend six months training you how to do the job, but with a little bit of mentorship, with a bit of guidance, you'll be able to take off running. So then my encouragement to you is maybe to check out some of the videos I've done on this channel on medical writing. My encouragement to you is to go on Amazon and look for books on medical writing and read as many as you can. My recommendation is for you to, to read books like on writing, well and the elements of style two books i recommend and i'm going to leave in the description below and what you're doing right when you start doing these things is, is collecting skills, collecting skills that will well position you for a job once you are out of school. I know some biology majors too who have ended up learning things like programming and end up using that within the biotech setting. Yes, yes, we need programmers, we need all these kinds of people in, in the biotech pharmaceutical industry world. So there is a lot you can do with your biology degree and usually the most common path is the path that I took which is extra education, extra degrees, but definitely you can also look for um, career paths that are very skills based. You learn those skills while you're in school. You know, these days we have YouTube, we have Udemy, we have Skillshare, right? Check out courses on there, check out tools on there, begin to practice. And by the time you're ready to hit the job market, you will be ready to hit the ground running. If you haven't already watched this video where I share five high paying biology jobs, go ahead and check it out.